That's a huge number, uh, Arvind Subramanian, anywhere between 35 to 40 lakh, I guess in a sense, excess or unexplained deaths during this, this pandemic period, as I said, almost 10 times more than the official count. Explain those numbers to us and, and how you arrived at them. Uh, first of all, I think, uh, uh, Basu, we need to be very clear that, <clears throat> you know, we're probably not going to really ever have the, uh, completely satisfactory answers to this question because it's in the nature of the beast that it's such a difficult thing to measure, especially since, you know, health information systems in India uh, are, are, you know, still uh, uh, not, uh, you know, as good as they ought to be. So that is why what we did in this study, it's very important to emphasize, is that we looked at it from three different data sources hmm. using different methodologies, because no one source is going to be completely reliable. No one methodology is going to be accurate. Um, and, and each of these has shortcomings. So what we do in this paper is to say, look, um, three different ways, lots of problems with each of them, but this is the best we have. And, and let's see what they show up. Mm. Uh, so, so very important. And essentially what you find is that there's a range between, as you said, three and a half, uh, 35 to 40 lakhs or 35 to 45 lakhs. That's our best guess of the range. Uh, and it could be a little less. It could be a little bit more because this is there's a lot of uncertainty around each of these. Now, coming to your question of, you know, oh, it sounds like a lot. Mm. Right. And I think we have to be a little bit uh, careful here. It sounds like a lot relative to the official count, right? You know, as you said, it could be seven to 10 times more than this. But I think uh, the other appropriate way of looking at it in terms of a comparison mm. is vis-a-vis uh, -vis other countries. I mean, if you have 1.38 billion, obviously you'll have you know, more cases and more deaths. Sure. Uh, so that's not an appropriate benchmark. Uh, what you find are central estimates is exactly what you would expect in a country of the size of India. Hmm. And given infection rates, you know, we saw the latest zero prevalence study, hmm. it's 70 percent, uh, you know, infection. So with such high zero prevalence, such a high population, sure. uh, this is what I expect to find. 